Welcome back to Transport Fever, I'm Tech Hench, and in today's episode we're going to carry on from last episode and actually add in a couple of lines to the plank factory that we created. And also just join everything up just to make sure it's working correctly. Also I'm going to build a hotel at the motorway services that we have. And finally I'm going to start building a new town. Probably not going to get this that finished in this episode and it'll probably continue into the next episode. If you're new around here, the game I'm playing at the most at the minute is Transport Fever. I do also have a series on King of Retail. The main aim of my channel is to bring games that centre around building, management and simulation. So if that sounds interesting to you, why not consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video when it's released. So I'm actually going to need four new lines to make all this work. One from the wood factory down to the planks factory. And then one from the planks factory to the train station, the main train station that we've got. And then one that's going to take all that down to the south of the map, to the main cargo hub that I built in a previous episode. If you've not seen them, we build the main cargo hub. I will link both episodes down in the description if you want to check them out. I already ha then have a line that goes from the main station to the planks, to the tool factory, sorry. And then one line I need from the tool factory to a city or town. So the town that we built in one of the previous episodes that's just next to the main cargo hub uh, does need tools. So that's the place that I'm going to deliver the tools to to start off with. And I did already put in a place where that they can be delivered to. So that was a relatively quick, relatively quick thing to do. What I'm now going to do is actually jump on to build a hotel. So this hotel is actually just going to be made up of the buildings that are on one of the mods that you can get. There are hundreds of different buildings in all different shapes. They all look like they could be hotels. But what I'm actually going to do is use three buildings to build it. So one is a kind of a main entrance type building. Just somewhere where the reception desk would be and things like that. And then two buildings either side which will be the kind of the hotel rooms. What I am going to do is try and make a bit of a courtyard at the back as well. There's some way where you can just go and hang out. And I do have a mod, I think, that is like a bar or something like that. So maybe I'll add that in so you can go to a little bar area and have a drink while you're staying over. Probably wouldn't be the most interesting place to stay over right next to a motorway. But it is a thing that quite a few motorway services do have, little hotels next to them. Though this is actually a giant hotel. But that's okay. It'll be fine. So this was actually an idea that one of you guys left in the comments. So if you do actually have any really good ideas to add into the game, please do leave them down in the comments can't promise that I'll get to them straight away, but uh, I will certainly have a go at various things if I feel that uh, they will fit nicely into the big build. So I am actually going to use a fence, or the fence, brick fence, that I've never actually used before, I don't think. It did feel like it fit quite nicely with a hotel. And just a little bit of tarmac to finish it off. So I don't actually have that many mods that really add any decorative stuff to, for the hotel. So I did use the best, do the best that I could. Possibly will go and have a look at, on the workshop just to see if there's anything else that I can download and add. I did have a swimming pool, so if I'd have made the, air, uh, the grounds of the hotel a little bit bigger, I probably could have added that hotel. Hotel even, swimming pool. I think that mod is actually more a beach mod, so um, same with the bar that I added in, it's actually a beach mod, so uh, maybe one day. In fact I do have a beach, created the beach next to the lake, maybe, although you don't really want a pool next to the lake I suppose. So a little bar next to the beach would be nice. Just adding some trees in to make it look a little bit nicer. So now I'm going to move on to building the new town. 
So I wanted this town to be as realistic as I could possibly make it. So I did a, have a look on Google Maps around the UK, just some of the towns, and to see what they look like from the sky or from the satellite view. I did want it small enough so it only had a few houses, but then big enough so it would actually have a train station. So what I'm gonna do is actually put it on the line that is that has the Flying Scotsman go up and down it. So this is also the line that has the Glenfinnan Pass. and also goes past the lake as you can just see in the distance. It's not actually far off the main passenger station that I've got. So I'm just going to use the regular station, the regular modern station that is. But what I didn't want it to have, so as you can see there it's got kind of bits that cover up the station. I don't actually want that to have that. When I placed it down it did have the electricity bar and things, so where they had to go. Just so it made it look a little bit more rusty. And I did actually remove the main building off it because it I wanted just, just a small building really because it was only a small town. It would probably only have a small station. So it is gonna have a car park outside it, and I do want it to be actual to actually work, so I'm gonna add a bus route in as well. So it will be a way of getting actual people to the station. Otherwise, unfortunately, they actually just drive up and kind of park and then get on the train and then go somewhere, which is a bit of a shame. So it did take me a few attempts to actually make this work properly. Because what I didn't realise is when I add all these roads in and then add the town, if you don't like the placement of the town and then delete the town, it actually deletes all the roads around it as well, which is slightly annoying. So that was a small town that I've placed there, but it was I thought it was actually a little bit too big. And as you can see, I deleted it and then all the roads went that I put down as well. I did then have a bit of a problem placing the city down or the town down. If you don't add any roads in or anything like that, it actually puts the angle of the town at a slightly weird. So what I found is if you actually put a road down first, as you just saw me do there, and then put the town on, it kind of joined up to the road automatically. Now we've got the town exactly where I want it. It is going to connect up to the roads that I already have. So there's a main motorway, but well, I think it is a motorway. There's a big main road though that goes uh, kind of north of the map. I'm going to add it into there and then I'm also going to add it the other way so it joins up almost towards the road that connects up to the lake. So if people did want to drive they could do. Why well, would you when you could go on the Flying Scotsman? So what I'm going to do here is actually just add in the train, the bus stop. So the bus stop is going to just have, be a one way street so the bus kind of can come in drop the people off or pick up anybody and then continue around. So I sort of have done something similar to this on the airports that I've got. And I also want, like I said before, a car park in. The car park is just going to be just, just kind of there. So for some reason the roads were being a bit weird and they won't actually connect properly. I did finally get them to connect. So this is the best car park that I found that works and actually looks like a car park. Still a bit of a shame you have to have that round bit on it. Whoever actually built this mod, if they could get rid of that brown round bit, that would be extremely helpful. So I wanted this just to be a little bit of an area where kind of is just a hub for c collecting 
or for people to to come to and then get on the train and then yeah get off the train if they've gone to wherever they need to go i don't want it to be kind of the the massive stations that we've got dotted around on the map so the town actually called itself luton luton is actually a really big place in real life so it's not overly realistic but i am probably going to leave it as luton unless obviously you've got any suggestions that of something else that i could call it you want the city naming after something that you know of why not drop a suggestion in the comments so as normal with these builds i do spend far too long coloring stuff in and also messing about with the fence brush fence tool so as you can see i'm just going to actually use a hedge for the fence i did actually put this side of the hedge a little bit too far away from the track so i will come back and delete that i think and just move it a little bit closer when i deleted that there as well i didn't actually mean it to delete all the buildings i just wanted to kind of remove the end of it but that didn't work so all the buildings disappeared as well that's okay hopefully they'll come back I probably will bring cargo into this place. I'm not quite sure how yet, but uh, I'll figure that out at some point. So what I do have, because we have a level crossing, I probably will put a building there as well. And a few trees just to make it look a little bit nicer. As this town is not quite finished yet, I probably won't do a cinematic view of it in this episode, but I probably will do it in the next episode when it's finished we'll show off the hotel though so make sure you stick around to see that at the end possibly we'll show off a couple of other parts of the map as well like i said previously i do really like it the cinema the camera tools in the game they are really good if you've not checked them out do do check them out they are extremely powerful actually for a, for a game like this i wish quite a few other games had would do something like that. Normally end up downloading mods and things like that to kind of make them sort of videos. I've done a good job in Transport Fever of adding them in. If you want to see a few additional pictures as well of the big build, I do actually upload them a few onto my Facebook page. The link is in the description for that if you want to go and check them out so as you can see i'm just moving the hedge there a little bit just so it's a lot closer to the track it does look, make it look quite a lot better and just finishing up with the fences around the edge of the entrance and once i've done that i think i'll leave it there for this episode I'll continue with the town in the next episode i've actually done quite a lot in this episode so we'll jump into the cinematic view. And that's this week's episode. So thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Why not subscribe for more Transport Fever? Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well to receive a notification every time I upload a video. If you've not seen my showreel for the big build, why not go and check that out? It's actually using the camera manager built into Transport Fever. It's off some of the areas that I've built so far. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.